Well, good morning, everyone. So today we have Easton, sprayer operator trainee, and we're gonna do um, charge to boom to spray this field. So if you come here to your computer, first thing you gotta do, especially if you're doing a half load, is come put in the right amount. Your flow meter is always a little off. So we want it to be 500, push okay. And then we push fill it. And now we got the um, pump and agitator have been on for a minute, so we should be good to go. Section controls off, and we have Ronald Raylance selected. Um, so, you know, it won't count it, you know, towards the farmer. Um, all the um, sections are on, and then we have our two fence rows are on there. So we'll go ahead and spray, and then once you hit, you've gone down 15 gallons, you turn off the middle section, and then every five after that, you turn off the next two, you know, back and forth till you just have the two outside. And it usually runs through about 40 gallons of water, so you always got to plan for that um, when you're loading to make sure you don't run, make sure you don't run dry. Um, but yeah, go ahead and do that, Easton. Uh, right now is a good time to get out and check your tips if you haven't done that already. We did that when we were rinsing. Um, yeah, everything looks like spraying good. And so we'll just charge this boom, then we'll add the information and get going. All right, so we got out to the field. So now Easton's going to put in all the information into the computer. I might take over a second just to point a few things out on the screen. Oh, watch out, Easton. Um, so what works best, so this is a, a 4600 screen. Um, so if you go here on the bottom left, you push a setup and then this page, you can pretty much do everything you, so you can click here and then you can select the field. Um, you can change the operator and then you can put your weather information in there and then you can come here and click. And then you can add a new tank mix or find one if we've done it before. That's pretty much all the stuff you need to know um, for entering your information. But you got to select the right field. You got to put in the weather and then the chemical mix. And then you got to make sure you have your right um, rate set up. Today we're doing 20 gallons an acre. Um, so that's kind of the stuff you need to put in on the computer. And then at this point, you got to make sure you're in the right field. So on our work order, it says they're spraying ryegrass. We're obviously in a grass field. Um, looks like grass. I can't tell rye between anything else when it's this short. And then I looked on the farmer's map that they've given me. Um, this isn't in the blocking unit, so I'm not going to check on that map. I checked on my phone off my operation. We're in the right field. And then the last thing would be just, you know, if something we sprayed before so it'll pull up on this computer and and i guess on the work order you know the map matches what we're going to spray and the little you know i have this one in an email so i can click the link and, and it shows us that we're in the right field um i'll have to take a video and kind of show what that looks like but everything looks good so once easton gets this put in the computer we'll just drive forward make an a b line we'll scoot over and we're just gonna spray this one back and forth. The farmer said that'd be fine. Uh, so A, B line, scoot over 60 foot, and then we'll go right by the pivot, start the circle, and then just do the east half first, and then finish up on the west half. But it's only 25 acres, so we should get done real quick.